Hey everyone, Shane Moore with Forcepoint, and today I want to do a really quick demo of the end user experience of having our Secure Web Gateway Smart Edge agent installed on the endpoint, providing controls for your web browsing experience for your employees. So quickly, I am going to do general web browsing. I'm going to first start with msn.com just to show you a general web browsing experience. So we have an actual agent that sits on the endpoint, our Smart Edge agent. And as opposed to tunneling all of the internet traffic back to a centralized location and or choke point, we're actually sending this information direct from your end device out to the web while providing the controls on your endpoint for 90% of all the traffic on the web. So you notice I've went to MSN, I'll go to yahoo.com, and you'll notice again, just general web browsing experience, very quick. But let's say that your users are sitting at lunch and they decide they want to Go to pokerstars.net and you'll notice that is blocked under the corporate accept acceptable use policy. And again, that block is actually happening on the endpoint. We see that that is a, a category that is going to be blocked. So it's happening on the endpoint, not, being not going back to a centralized location. Now let's do something a little more complicated. Let's go to reddit.com. So reddit.com with, if you're not doing SSL decryption, is probably being controlled with a DNS-based solution, which is either going to allow or block reddit.com but of course reddit.com is going to have a lot of information which could be beneficial to your employees like reddit.com slash r slash technology so if you want to allow your users to go there you can of course the reason why people are a little nervous about a site like reddit.com is there also are things that are bad like adult content on reddit.com but you'll notice that we're actually going to block this page from occurring And you'll notice there's the block. Now, let's do something a little more, even more complicated. Let's go to icar.org, which is a site that allows you to research malware or look up malware. And you'll notice, again, I can go to the website. And I mentioned earlier that 90% of the traffic is going to happen on the endpoint. Well, for anything that is sensitive in nature or from a malware perspective, if someone tries to access that, we're actually going to send that information up to our cloud. And you'll notice we noticed that file had malware in it and we blocked it from coming down to the endpoint. The other traffic that I'm talking about is if you've got sensitive information sitting on your corporate machine, and as an employer, you don't want people sharing that information, of course, to let's say personal box or Dropbox or, or something of that nature. In this use case with LinkedIn, it's kind of interesting. It came up from a financial services customer that was worried about employees doing insider trading over, let's say, a, a, a social media site like LinkedIn. So in this example, I'm going to attempt to send Tammy a file that has confidential information in it. I'm going to scroll down to that file. And I'm going to attempt to upload it. And you'll notice that the upload failed. Please try again. We can also configure a pop-up message to pop up, which will show the employee why it failed. I don't have that configured for this demo, but you'll notice the upload failed. So again, use case here might be you've got sensitive information on your corporate laptop, a trusted device, but you don't want people sending information to like, so say personal box, personal Dropbox, social media sites, exam or for example. So a lot of power on the platform. If you'd like to see a more robust demo, please contact us. We would love to chat with you. Thank you.